Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Reception. The game received generally favorable reviews, according to review aggregator Metacritic. During both its early access phase and after, Battlegrounds also surpassed numerous player count records. Blue Hole released statistics for the first four months of release that showed that over 10 million rounds of Battlegrounds had been played, effectively equal to more than 25,000 man years of time. Data by Steam Spy showed that Battlegrounds had surpassed long standing popular titles in concurrent player count on Steam such as Fallout 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5, eventually overtaking Dota 2, the most played game on the platform for years, in August 2017. The following month, the game had its peak concurrent player count reach over 1.3 million, surpassing Dota 2's all-time record of 1.29 set in March 2016. The game then reached a concurrent player count of 2 million in October 2017 and 3 million by the end of the year. The game has also been shown popular in South Korean PC banks. Analysis firm Gametrix reported that Battlegrounds had surpassed Overwatch and became the second most played game in the country by August 2017, only behind League of Legends. It subsequently surpassed League of Legends by October 2017. Battlegrounds's popularity from Chinese players led to a large increase in users of Steam from that geographic region, and by November 2017, more than half of users knew Chinese, superseding English, which was the primary language in the platform, due to the game's availability. Several journalists commented on the game's rapid growth towards a large player base for a game that was still in early access. Green had confidence that the game could reach over a million players within a month, but some of his development team were only anticipating around 200,000 to 300,000 within the first year and were surprised by its performance in its first month. Green himself believed that the strong growth was buoyed by non-traditional promotional channels like Twitch streamers and other content creators, which they have since worked to introduce new gameplay elements ahead of public release. IGN's Rad believed that the popularity of the game was due to its fast-paced nature compared to similar type games available at the time such as H1Z1 and Days. She thought that the design balanced the solitary periods when the player is scavenging or sneaking around with those of being in combat with others, and the approach is readily accessible to new players with very little waiting time to get into a new match. Andy Moore for Glixel considered that Battlegrounds' popularity comes from how the game encouraged players to engage due to the situation they are placed in rather than from the player's own disposition, comparing it to the Stanford Prison Experiment and thus able to capture the interest of players who may normally eschew these types of games. Rock Paper Shotgun's Michael Johnson described Battlegrounds as a tactical shooting sandbox, a story generator, and a horror game all in one, providing some of the highest highs in multiplayer gaming as reason for its popularity. Rob Zachney for Waypoint found that Battlegrounds offered the same type of entertainment experience for viewers that many other player versus player survival games have, but because of the lack of persistence. Players were more likely to experiment with resources rather than hoard them, leading to humorous or unexpected situations that are often absent in survival games and making the title more enjoyable to watch and play, leading to its popularity. Jeff Grubb of Venture Beat considered Battlegrounds as a paradigm shift in the first-person shooter market similar to how Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare also changed the landscape of shooters when it was released in 2007 and believed it did this by being an anti-Call of Duty in terms of pacing and strategy. Battlegrounds is considered the defining game of the Battle Royale game genre due to its popularity, even though other games, including Green's previous mods, were already on the market. After its large early access sales numbers, other games followed with Battle Royale mechanics, with either existing games that added a Battle Royale mode or fully new games. Notably, Epic Games updated their in-development title Fortnite, a sandbox-based survival game that included the ability to construct fortifications, to include a Battle Royale mode that retained the fortification aspects. Known as Fortnite Battle Royale, Epic later released it as a standalone free-to-play game in September 2017. Shortly after its release, Bluehole expressed concerns about the game, acknowledging that while they cannot claim ownership of the Battle Royale genre, they feared that since they had been working with Epic for technical support of the Unreal Engine, that they may have had a heads up on planned features they wanted to bring to Battlegrounds and could release it first. PUBG Corporation later filed a lawsuit against Epic Games Korea in January 2018, alleging that Fortnite Battle Royale was infringing the copyright of Battlegrounds. However, the lawsuit was closed by PUBG in June 2018 for undisclosed reasons. Green had expressed concern on the large number of games that have simply cloned the Battleground mechanics 
particularly in China where clones of battlegrounds are considered a new genre of chicken eating game, based on the winner winner chicken dinner line to a match winner in battlegrounds. Green said I want this genre of games to grow. For that to happen you need new and interesting spins on the game mode. If it's just copycats down the line, then the genre doesn't grow and people get bored. Green claimed no ownership of the battle royale or last man standing genres, but believed that the clones were taking some specific mechanics he had developed in battlegrounds and prior mods, such as the initial parachuting segment or the red zone bombing runs, and would like to see legislation to give developers such as himself protection against these types of concepts as well as improve creativity as developers invent new approaches to mimic such innovations. Battlegrounds is explosive growth and how it popularized the battle royale genre was considered to be one of the top stories in the video game industry during 2017. Prior to release of their mobile versions, PUBG Corporation initiated legal action in the Northern Distinct Court of California against Chinese game publisher NetEase in January 2018, claiming that their mobile game's rules of survival and knives out infringe on Battlegrounds' copyrights. PUBG's lawsuit asserts that rules of survival is a copyrightable audio-visual work, individually and or in combination with other elements of Battlegrounds, and identified several elements that appear similar in both games. While some of these elements are common features of a Battle Royale game, PUBG asserted that other elements reference specific facets of battlegrounds, such as references to chicken for winning a game or using cookware as weapons or armor, makes rules of survival imply a connection to battlegrounds. PUBG seeks both monetary damages and requiring NetEase from further distribution of the games. NetEase, in responding to PUBG's request to Apple to remove the games, denied that their games violated battlegrounds' as copyrights. Sales and Downloads Battlegrounds made 11 million US dollars in the first three days of its Windows Early Access release. By the second week of April 2017, the game had sold over 1 million copies, with a peak player count of 89,000. Super Data Research estimated that the game's April sales exceeded 34 million US dollars, putting it as one of the top 10 highest grossing revenue games for the month and exceeding revenue from Overwatch and Counter Strike Global Offensive. By May 2017, the game had sold over 2 million copies, with total gross revenues estimated at 60 million US dollars. Within three months of its early access release, it had surpassed over 5 million copies sold, and Bluehole announced it had exceeded 100 million US dollars in sale revenue. Battlegrounds reached this 4 million mark faster than Minecraft, which took over a year to reach similar sales figures while it was in its paid beta development period. By September 2017, Bluehole's value, as tracked by a firm that tracks private Korean corporations, increased fivefold from June of that year to a value of 4.6 billion US dollars, primarily due to battlegrounds. By December 2017, PUBG Corporation reported that there were more than 30 million players worldwide between the Windows and Xbox versions. The research film Super Data estimated that Battlegrounds drew in more than 712 million US dollars in revenue within 2017. By February 2018, the game had sold over 30 million on Steam according to Steam Spy. The following month, Gabe Newell stated that the game was the third highest grossing game of all time on the platform. Within three days of going live on the Xbox Live preview program in mid-December 2017, Microsoft announced that Battlegrounds had sold more than a million copies on the platform. Alongside this, Microsoft announced that Battlegrounds would be offered as a free add-on for those buying the Xbox One X console through the end of 2017. A month after release, the Xbox version had sold more than 4 million copies and was the fourth best-selling game in the United States, according to the NPD Group. By March 2018, the game had sold 40 million copies across all platforms, which had risen to over 50 million by June, averaging over 87 million players daily with over 400 million players in total. The mobile version in particular had over 100 million downloads by August 2018 and exceeded 225 million by October 2018, a figure higher than the combined player base for Fortnite at nearly the same point in time. The bulk of these players are in Asian countries such as China and India, where PUBG Mobile was released before Fortnite and can run on lower-powered mobile hardware. China has the game's largest player base, and PUBG is the most popular online game in India, as of 2018. Awards and Accolades 